Are you craving for donuts pero wala ka namang donut cutter? Well, I'm gonna show you how. Hi everyone! Rox here, and today on Rox Cooking Journal, we are making donuts. So let's get started! First, pagsamahin muna natin yung water, instant dry yeast, and sugar. I-mix lang natin ito at tunawin sa tubig. Then, i-set aside muna natin ito hanggang sa mag-bubbles at umalsa. This is how I proof my yeast to make sure it's still active. Now, in a mixing bowl, pagsamahin naman natin yung all-purpose flour. Salt at baking powder. I-mix muna natin ito. Then, add in evaporated milk, 1 egg yolk, ayan, nagbubbles at umalsa na yung yeast. Ihalo na rin natin dito. Haluin muna natin sandali para ma-absorb niya yung liquid or yung wet ingredients. Then, ilagay na natin yung softened butter or margarine. Once everything comes together, knead it by hand in the bowl for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep on folding and kneading hanggang maging smooth, elastic, and slightly sticky to the touch yung dough. I-grease natin yung bowl at yung dough para hindi siya mag-dry. Then, takpan natin ang cling wrap and let this rest at room temperature for about 45 to 60 minutes or hanggang maging double yung size niya. Ayan, nagdoble na yung size ng dough. At para ma-check kung well-rested na yung dough, Kapag tinusok mo siya, hindi na magsasara yung butas. I-punch down natin yung dough para ma-release yung gases niya. Ngayon, maglagay naman tayo ng flour sa pastry mat. At i-form natin ito into a log. Next, hatiin natin ito. Gagawin ko siyang 12 pieces. Pero kung mas malaki yung size ang gusto nyo, hatiin nyo ng 10 pieces. Tapos, i-compress muna natin like so. Then, i-roll natin para maging smooth ball like this. Now, i-flatten natin. To make sure na hindi siya didikit sa pastry mat, maglalagay muna tayo ng parchment paper. Then, iligay na natin yung dough. Tapos, pahira natin ng flour, yung surface ng dough, at yung ilalim ng platito. Ito yung gagamitin natin para ma-flatten yung dough. Ulitin lang natin. Parchment paper, then dough, flour sa ibabaw ng dough at ilalim ng platito, then press. Now, cover this with plastic or tea towel and let them rise for about 45 minutes at room temperature o hanggang maging double yung size niya. 
Ayan, ready for frying na to. Mainit na rin yung oil, kaya i-fry na natin yung donuts. I-check natin kung lightly brown na. Ayan, i-flip na natin para maluto naman yung kabilang side. Tama na yung pagka-brown niya, kaya hanguin na natin. Then, ilagay natin sa cooling rack para madrain yung excess oil niya. Next, gumawa naman tayo ng glaze. I have your peanut butter. Lalagyan lang natin yung virgin coconut oil para maging glossy. Then, i-mix natin. Now, yung chopped white chocolate. At yung milk chocolate chips, lalagyan naman natin ng hot milk para matunaw ito. Now, i-glaze na natin yung donuts with peanut butter glaze. I-dip natin yung donut. Then, shake off the excess back into the bowl. Then, yung white chocolate glaze naman, deep, and shake off. Lastly, yung milk chocolate, deep, and shake off. Here's our homemade glazed donuts. Pwede rin natin lagyan ng toppings like chopped white chocolate or chocolate chips. Or you can also use marshmallows, sprinkles, or sliced almonds. Thanks for watching and see you in my next cooking journal!